Technology continues to develop, facilitating our research into the great unknown that is space. As we develop more and more, it's only a matter of time before the discoveries we make take the world by storm. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three new astronomical discoveries made thanks to some phenomenal technological developments. James Webb Space Telescope takes a photograph of an Einstein ring 12 billion light-years away. The James Webb Space Telescope has begun to capture the hearts of many, just like Hubble did before it. Setting off to flight in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has begun to provide tremendous observations and already has a whole list of research opportunities just waiting for it. In July, the wonderful talents of the telescope were shared with the world when NASA released the first full-color images provided by the telescope. Though, of course, this is not where the magnificence ends. Since the initial buzz of what Webb can do, we have seen it gather shots of evidence of a supernova, of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, and even an Einstein ring. An Einstein ring is formed when the light of a galaxy or star passes by a huge object as it travels to Earth. This then experiences gravitational lensing, meaning that the light is diverted. This creates almost an illusion, where the light looks as though it has different origins. If the source, lens and the observer, in this case the James Webb Space Telescope, are lined up perfectly, then a ring will form. This is a somewhat rare occurrence, so it's without a doubt an exciting opportunity to see with such clarity like this. The JWST has brought us a picture-perfect view of the galaxy SPT SJ041839 47518. Well, not quite. It looks as though we are seeing an Einstein ring from this galaxy. But it's the light bending around a galaxy in front of it, closer to Earth, so it's not the initial galaxy forming the light as we might expect. Regardless, we might have spoiled the magic a little bit, but it doesn't take anything away from a breathtaking photo. Astronomers discover Waterworld Exoplanet one part of space exploration that is particularly fascinating is the search and discovery for planetary bodies. When we are lucky to stumble across those outside of our solar system, we call these exoplanets, and this has been the focus of plenty of recent research. Research published in the Astronomical Journal in mid-August 2022 details a discovery in which researchers believe they might have uncovered a new exoplanet that has been dubbed a water world, thanks to the possibility that the surface is entirely covered in water. It was an international effort that went into the discovery of TOI 1452b, with the team being led by Charles Cadier, a PhD student at the University of Montreal and member of the Institute for Research on Exoplanets, also known as IREX, and the primary equipment being used to detect the initial signs being the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, operated and made by NASA. This waterworld exoplanet was found approximately 100 light years away from Earth. It appears to be orbiting one star out of two that form a binary system, which can be traced to the Draco constellation. A binary system is when two stars orbit one another, forming one system together. This waterworld planet orbits one of those in this system, not too dissimilar from how Earth orbits the Sun. The distance from the stars mean that the surface temperature of the planet could facilitate water, making the possibility of an ocean planet fairly likely. They believe that the surface of the planet could simply be a thick layer of water, comparable to some of Jupiter's and Saturn's moons, such as Enceladus or perhaps more notably Europa. TESS works by detecting fluctuations in the brightness of a star that might indicate an exoplanet is passing in front of it. It surveys the whole sky, with the primary aim being to detect planetary bodies similar to our own, though it does not hurt to find interesting ones like this too. The TESS detection indicated that this planet may be about 70% larger than the Earth is. This was calculated due to the decrease in brightness being picked up every 11 days. While TESS might have first picked up these signals, it wasn't just one piece of equipment that took on the work. René Doyon a professor at the University of Montreal and the director of IREX and of the Observatoire du Mont-Mégantique. 
Doyon explained that a new analytic method was applied in the OMM lab using a special instrument that allowed for these further conclusions to be drawn about the exoplanet, with TESS simply alerting us to its presence. It's this further research that is required to confirm the type of planet it is, as well as other possible characteristics. Another piece of equipment that is helpful in determining some more of these characteristics is PESTO, a camera installed on the OMM telescope. PESTO was useful as the resolution is high enough to distinguish between two objects, something beyond the capabilities of TESS. This is an impressive feat considering how close together these astronomical items are, with the star sitting just 97 astronomical units apart. An astronomical unit is equivalent to 149.6 kilometers. PESTO managed to provide images that confirmed which of the two stars are being orbited by this water world. As far as we know, TOI 1452b could in fact be a rocky planet much like Earth, though the characteristics that have been identified, namely the mass, the radius and the density, indicate something much less like our own planet. We know that the surface of Earth is predominantly water, clocking in at 70%. With regard to the mass of the planet, water plays a very small role, accounting for less than 1% of the Earth's mass. That is what could make a difference between Earth and this potential water world that has been discovered. The densities that are being observed in these exoplanets can only be explained if the materials that go into the composition of these exoplanets are much lighter than those that make up the Earth's internal structure. These are theoretical concepts that would explain the makeup of planets that could be like this. Water is a significantly lighter component than what Earth is made up of. So it's one of many hypothetical explanations as to how the mass is so light compared to the radius of these planets. The name given to these places are ocean planets, but we do not know if they even exist. Cadieux, lead researcher, said that this is perhaps one of the best candidates for an ocean planet that has been found so far. He said, its radius and mass suggest a much lower density than what one would expect for a planet that is basically made up of metal and rock like Earth. The potential ocean planet Waterworld is a perfect example of how utilizing different tools and expertise can help to provide different insights to the planet. The JWST could be a brilliant opportunity to take a closer look behind the scenes of this world. Scientists discover toxic cloud on the surface of Venus. NASA's Parker Solar Probe is the first spacecraft that is on a mission to touch the Sun. In reality, the aim is for it to make observations of the outer corona, providing us with more details of our star. The mission launched in 2018, though in early 2022, the probe has actually provided us with more information on Venus than it has the Sun. The Parker Solar Probe seemingly uncovered a hot surface lurking beneath a cloak of toxic clouds. This discovery of the hot terrain could help us to piece together our understanding of the minerals that are present on Venus. Data obtained using the Wide Field Imager on the Parker Solar Probe revealed something beneath the thick atmosphere, as researchers were able to take a peek and spy highlands, plateaus and plains. This information on the geographical features of the planet was thoroughly exciting, letting us see the surface from space in visible wavelengths for the first time. We know that Venus is home to rainfall of sulfuric acid and toxic clouds. Despite how fascinating this is, it's been a cause of significant scientific hindrance in the past, causing great difficulty whenever the planet has been investigated. These clouds make it much harder, yes, though evidently, it's still possible. With the opportunity to take a glance behind the curtain, one cannot help but wonder what more there is on this planet for us to uncover. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.